Hi and welcome to the masterclass for the second movement of Summer by Vivaldi. We're going to learn how to play Adagio. Again, I'm going to show you loads of different options from which you're going to choose one or two or all of them <laughs> and practice them the way you like. I'm going to start in the first position on the E string. You could also start in the fifth position on the B string if you wanted to, but... I wouldn't recommend it. I would start in the first position on the E string. So here. It also sounds beautiful, but the sound is not as clear as on the E string in this case. So I would prefer this. And make sure to remember the smooth movements. And before you start, you're already moving. Practice that. Keep your hand totally relaxed and take the bow and try not to change anything. Hang up your hand like this and then when the bow comes, try not to change anything. All the fingers are round and relaxed. And pinky is there, the tip, the whole weight of the bow lasts. I think if you take a deep breath, it will help you to be very calm and focused. Breathe together with the music. You don't have to make it very obvious. You don't have to go but just for yourself. Great thing to practice, just like meditation. You could also practice open strings and try playing long notes without speeding up or slowing down. Even sound, it's not very easy but it's a lot of fun. And again, it's like meditation, focusing on something. If it sounds like that, you know, I have to start over. Try again. These were some tips for producing beautiful sound. Now let's try. Let's start in the first position on the E string. Put the third finger on both strings, E and D, oh, E and A strings. <laughs> the fourth finger is right next to the fourth one. Here you could experiment with different bowings. You could play legato. separate everything. It's up to you which fingerings you're going to choose, whether you're going to start on the A string in the fifth position or on the E string in the first position. It's just great to try all those options to see what the difference is between them and also to be able to choose your favorite ones here. In order to make smooth string crossings, your hand has to be very relaxed. You can practice this. Another possibility here is to play the A in the first position and then the D in the second position. Or down bow and then up bow. We carry on in the second position with first finger on an E string. And here go down to the first position by stretching a finger, first finger, and we stay in the first position. If your first finger was on both strings, then you don't have to jump. You 
could add some beautiful grace notes. free to choose whatever you like. That's what it was like back in the day, as far as we know, as far as I know. The musician can always choose what kind of ornamentation he wants to add. For example, totally on the top and added grace notes everywhere just to show you what's possible. We can choose one or two options or do something completely different. Let's carry on. In the first position, the first finger on the E string, again put the finger on both strings. The main thing in the second movement is your sound. Sound is always important, but here it's very exposed. You will notice immediately when you're not 100% secure with your sound, when you don't feel very comfortable with it, it will show immediately. That's why it's so important to practice like open strings and all these smooth movements. You want to keep your wrist and your fingers relaxed at all times unless you're playing staccato. In that way, you'll be able to produce a beautiful sound. Practice consistently you'll create great results. Let's carry on in measure 10. You could play separate both. Everything is possible. Give it a try, find out what sounds best to you and choose that option. You just have to make sure not to stress the second note so it doesn't sound like this. In order to make it happen, you have to stress the first note, make it stronger so the second one doesn't come out as strong. That's the secret. very light and smooth movement. By the way, you can start counting how many times I say smooth and write down in the comments. I just noticed that I use that word very often because I love it. <laughs> Measure 10. and play the rest on the A string, a smooth shift <laughs> into the fifth position. separate notes here, first position. Here you could move up on the last note to measure 14. Depending on which fingering you're going to do, you can also choose different bowings. Different bowings sound better with certain fingerings. Here, for example, it 
sounds good in a third position. Just into the first position here. We carry on with measure 17, the second position. So here make sure your arm is really slow because it's a long note. You don't want to run out of bow too soon. Oops, too late. Focus on a slow movement of your arm and a consistent sound. Easier said than done. That's why you need to keep practicing. And again, here you can create your own race notes. For example, in measure 14, And then 15. In measure 15, you could choose completely different grace notes if you like. If you're looking for the sheet music for summer, the link is in the description box below. Click on it, download the sheet music, start practicing right away. Enjoy it, it's beautiful. Also remember to like and share this video with your friends and family, promise.